Hey guys, welcome back. Now, I was on the road and I received a phone call from my friend telling me that he's having some issues on his fire stick. Now, I asked him, what do you want me to do? And he said, if it was possible, could I please connect into his fire stick and check some of his settings? So what did I do? I activated my hotspot on my phone. I then asked him to send me a special link to my email which I'll just open here. Now using that special link, I'm just gonna click on that now, which is the first one here. And clicking on that special link in a couple of seconds, <laughs> I now see his fire stick, guys. So from the internet, using my hotspot, without doing any kind of port opening or port forwarding, I can now see his screen, but you know what? I also have full access. So you can see now, as I'm clicking on my laptop, I have complete control of his fire stick so i can navigate over to the settings i can then go down uh, i can go over to my fire tv click on that i can go to developer options and i can now make any changes to his device directly from my laptop now lots of you know i've been looking for a solution for this which doesn't require any kind of network or router changes. What's the easiest way I can now remote control my friends, my family, or even my customers fire stick. So in this video today, let me show you how you can now take remote control of any fire stick, any Android TV device through the internet without requiring any kind of manual port opening. All you need to do is just hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you okay so for this process to work we do have to install some free software now before i start this video let me just give a big shout out to paul's fire stick tips and tricks channel now it was actually paul's channel where i saw this application first and in his video he was demonstrating how you can use this application on your home network and control your fire stick now using this application i found that it contained an external link feature and if you enable the external links that then gives the ability for other people on the internet to come in and control your fire stick or really any Android TV device. But again, as I saw the application on Paul's channel first, all credit is due to him. Now we'll leave a link in the video description, but essentially you want to go to the Visor website and then click on download and you'll get this file here. So let's click on that. And this is basically the application you can install on your home network, which will then allow you to remote control any of the Android devices in your house. Uh, let's click on more info and click on run. Now I've personally tested this on my 4K Fire Stick and also my Nvidia Shield. And in both examples, I was able to fully remote control them, even though I was not in my house. Okay, let's give that a second. So this is what the application looks like, it has a fairly basic interface, but using this application now, I can now actually make a connection to any Android device in my house. So let's start with the 4K Fire Stick. So here we are on my 4K Fire Stick, and the only two things we need to do is firstly enable, or make sure that we have ADB debugging enabled, and we can see by going to settings, developer options, my ADB debugging is on. Once you've confirmed that, the only other thing you need to do is just confirm what the IP address is of your Fire Stick. My Fire Stick's IP address ends in 91. So 192.168.0.91. Now that we've confirmed that, I can now jump back to the Visor application. And where it says here, connect to network or shared device, let's now click on that and it's now asking you what's the IP address of the device that you want to remote control. So in my example, it was just 192.168.0.91. I can now click on connect. Now we can see straight away, it says that's now connected. Now the very first time you do this, as with all other ADB applications, you will see a prompt on your Fire Stick asking you that, do you allow this machine to make a remote ADB connection? So you want to click on allow, and we can now see up here, it's identified my device, and it's made that connection. And this button here where it says view device, I can now click on that. Now we can see here straight away, it actually pushes a small APK file to the Fire Stick, which then allows that remote control. And there we have it guys. So right now, 
we can see the screen of my Fire Stick. I can move this over here. And now on my keyboard, if I press down, we can see it's now sending that control to the Fire Stick. And I can now basically control my device from my computer. So for example, if I want to uninstall something, uh, let's say for example, I'm not interested in this application over here. I can click on that, go down and click on uninstall. And all of that I'm doing with my keyboard, just showing you that I do have complete control of my Fire Stick. It's not just like it's a view only mode. We do actually have complete remote control. Uh, let's click on uninstall and it's working great. And the key thing about the small APK installation file, that only needs to happen once. So now that we've done that on our device, for example, if I now disconnect, now the next time I want to make a connection back to my Fire Stick, I can now just click on this. This quickly checks to make sure that the application is already installed. Wait a second, and we are now back onto the Fire Stick. And in fact, if I actually go back from here, I can actually use these buttons for back, for home, and this is the recent tasks. And let's go back one. Let's go into manage install applications. Now if I scroll down and here we can see the visor client. So this is the application that's pushed out automatically to your device, whether that's a Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield, which once again allows you to establish that remote control. So before I show you how we can now enable the external access, let's quickly demonstrate the same process on an Android TV device like my Nvidia Shield. I can now go over to settings, go to my network settings, and here we can just confirm that my IP address ends in 108. Once we've confirmed that, let's go back to the application. I can now click on add another device and now let's add in 108, which is the IP for my Nvidia Shield. Click on connect. Uh, we can see it requires authorization. Now if I jump back over to my Shield and there we have it guys. So you'll see this the very first time you try to make a connection. So click on always allow, click on okay. That's now all done. Let's jump back to the application. We can now see we have two devices to control. So if I now want to access my NVIDIA Shield, click on the play button. It quickly installs our remote control client and we are now looking at the screen of my NVIDIA Shield. And once again, I can now press back here. I can press the home key. And once again, I now have complete control of my Android TV device. So really great application, absolutely free doesn't require any kind of port configuration or network changes. Just install one application, type in the IP address, and you now have complete control of that device. So do give a thumbs up for that. Okay, so now that's all working. How do we now enable the external access? So let's say you have a Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield, and you now want to get some help from somebody else who lives down the road or in another state or in another country. How can we do that? And let's say I want to get some help on my 4K Fire Stick. Well, as we can see this icon here, it says share device. I can now click on that, give that a second. And it says your visor share link has now been copied to your clipboard. And this is basically the external link that you need to send to anybody, your friend, your family, or your customer or your manager, whoever's going to give you that help on your device. You just click on this link here, which then copies it to your clipboard. And for example, now if I open up Notepad, and this is what the link looks like. So I can now email this, I can send this via Telegram or, or via WhatsApp, or really any way I can get this link to anybody else. As soon as they open the link, they'll then have complete control of my Fire Stick. So let's now demonstrate that. So just to simulate like another person, like maybe a friend of mine in Belgium who wants to access my Fire Stick because he needs to help me, we can see this says Belgium here. If I now open up IP location, just to show you that the IP address of my device, as we can see here, is in fact Brussels. So now that we've confirmed that, let's now get this special link. Uh, let's just say I received this via an email. I can now paste that link into a browser. Here we can see, so I'm now just gonna click on open in browser. So again, you don't need to install anything. Click on open in browser. And now in a couple of seconds, from the internet, through Belgium, we are now looking at my Fire Stick we can see my screen server is running. If I click here, we are inside my Fire Stick from the internet, guys. And once again, I can now press the back button here. I can click on home and I just have that complete control of my Fire Stick or really any Android device. And again, without opening up any ports on my router. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are looking for an easy process on how we can remote control another Fire Stick or an Android TV device. 
and I really do think this application is definitely worthwhile checking out. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.